Hopefully, if she can deal with these people, she can get into the shack. Oh, look at that shack. I bet there's some goodies in there. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. And they all have guns. <laughs> all right, survivors, welcome back to Sheltered. Let's hop down into the bunker and pick up where we left off with the Punchwood family. They have survived for 24 days so far. They've got two new family members. Well, one, Barbara, has been adopted, but Diane Burke was recently let in by dad, and she is like Wonder Woman. Did you see that? She has superpowers. She just opened that door with her mind. She is amazing. Now, check out those stats on her, guys. 16, 20, 18, 20, 13. Ooh, nice. Um, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to disable that shower quick before Chris gets in there. We don't want anybody wasting any water right now. You can drink, but I don't want anybody taking showers. Um, so yeah, Wonder Woman, uh, a.k.a. Diane Burke, that's her alias, is, uh, we're gonna send her out so she can join the family. She has to do her trial run. But I'm not quite ready to send her out yet, because I think she... Well, we don't have a gas mask. Let's check out our storage here, guys. We don't have a gas mask. To send Diane out. And I really like her. We don't want her to get radiation poisoning and die on us. And unfortunately, we don't have enough. Um, hold on. Let's get... Who's right here? Chris is right here. And we do have enough plastic to make a gas mask, but I really wanted to make another water butt. I think that's more important. So we can still send Barbara out because she has anti-radiation meds in her system right now. And we'll take advantage of that. We might send her out alone. So let's go ahead and make another butt. Small butt or medium butt? Medium butt requires too much plastic. So we're going to have to go with the small butt. All right. Hey, uh, Christopher, make us a small butt. Put it right there above the other butt. And that's going to increase our total water capacity. Hopefully we get some rain soon. So now that we have Diane here, we're going to be using up more water. We're going to need a new bed. Um, hey, Dad, would you mind working on that bed since you're right next to it? Try not to wake up Barb, please. We're going to send her out. She needs to get her rest hammering away on, on, on Barb's head and face area. Mom doesn't object. Although she is, she has been adopted, so she's technically now our daughter. Sarah, would you be so kind and clean the shelter, please? I see some, some dog poop over here. Don't want anyone getting sick. Come on, Rain! Please, 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 Rain. Mom, we're going to give you a task outside. I'm going to go clean, fix up some things, rather. And, in fact, let's check the integrity port. Integrity report. We've got a makeshift toilet in rough shape. Um, everything else looks pretty good for now. So let's get Dad on that. You're right next to it, dude. Why don't you fix up that bucket with a blowtorch? <laughs> Chris is exhausted. Chris, you'll be able to go to bed after Barbara wakes up. See, this is what we like. That right there means Barbara is still um, under the influence of her drugs. So let's get Barbara going right now, in fact, before that expires. Oh, check it out. Rain on surface. It looks like good rain, too. Good. Not the black stuff that makes everybody potentially sick. All right, Barb, we're going to send you out dirty. Um, unfortunately, right now she's drinking from the water butt. Let's let her get her sip. Yes, get your sip of water. And now, let's send her off. Um, and then we're going to get everybody showered up and everything. Now that the water's coming, this is going to be great with that extra butt. Nothing like having an extra butt around the shelter, huh? All right, feeling okay doing nothing. Let's go, Barb. <laughs> um, I was just going to have her go like local, like a short run, because we're low on water. Instead of going back down to town, we do have this house here we haven't seen yet, but that's a long way. It uses up a lot of, a lot of water. Let's just go local. I think we're just going to send her to this house, small house first. Um, the school and the small farm and see what she can find there. It's only six water. She'll be right back. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, equip that. And let us equip. Let's equip the rifle and the rifle ammunition and I'm wondering if she should bring something for trade or if she should just bully people because she's pretty tough um, that's a good trade item how about a knife 
Yeah, let's put it in the party inventory. And I'm wondering if she if she does happen to run out of ammunition, can she swap this in her weapon slot? I don't know. I don't think that's possible, but let's give it a try. I don't know what a, a knife is worth anyway. Probably not much, but I think we're going to make her bully some people anyway. So, all right, let's... um, Sarah, where are you at? Go ahead and enable the shower and everyone can get cleaned up so nobody gets sick. If they're dirty and they eat with dirty fingers, that's what happens. That's why you want to listen to mom when she says, wash your hands before eating dinner. It's important, you know. Dad, I want you to make a new... um storage container now that we have the nails so yeah let's do that dad's gonna plop that down oh we have this new menu uh new new text down there so that tells you what to do all oh, the rain is beautiful mm-hmm 33 water out of 80 super duper and here we have barb checking in i found a small house yep we want you to search that one i'm assuming that's the first stop that we sent her to mom why don't you go up and fix up those filters. Ah, oh, dang it. No, not you, Chris. Mom. Sometimes I don't have the right person chosen. Barbara to base. I found somebody in this small house. Shall, shall I stop and talk to them? All right, let's go ahead and approach these strangers and, and see if we can't bully them into giving us stuff. Because I'm pretty sure if we, if we sneak away, then we don't get to get into the house. Um, if we trade with that person, we still don't get into the house. Um, I'm pretty sure anyway. So let's try bullying Maria here. She's got lime green pants and a forest green shirt and it looks like a knife. We've got the gun trained on her. And we're going to see if Barbara can scare her into giving us some stuff. Or just leave so we can get into the house. I'm not sure how that works. You out here on your own? Yeah, <laughs> Bully. I need all your stuff and you dead. Nothing personal. No, we don't want to kill her. Oh. She wants to fight. I thought maybe she would try to run away? Oh, man. Alright, well, she has a blade. We're gonna have to shoot her. This is for the family. Oh. Oh, gosh. She just murdered her in cold blood. For wire? Cement and gas. <laughs> Oh no, I thought maybe she would run away. Or just hand over the goods. I wonder how that's going to affect poor Barbara. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do in the wasteland to survive. So, I, I don't know, we'll have to see. When she calls, when she gets back into the uh, shelter, we'll see how, uh, how her emotional state is. <laughs> Mom, after you fix that, can you fix that? Uh, water filter too. Here she is. Stumbled across the school. Has some good stuff. Yeah, check. See? So there's a the thing. She didn't get to the house because that lady was there blocking her path, I guess. And even though we shot her, we still didn't get to go to the house. I don't understand that. I'm not sure I like that system. It seems like when you get to that location, you have uh, an encounter with the person or the house itself. Alright, some people here to get involved. I don't want to shoot anybody anymore. But I want to get in that school. Now, if he, were, if he wasn't here, would we be able to get to the school? I want to get to the school to get the goods. Well, hello. Another one out here risking the dust and disease. We've all had rough days since, well, you know. So I feel for you, pal. Any of this help you out? He's just going to trade automatically, isn't he? Not sure if I need anything, but take a look. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll take the food. Would you like a knife? Seems like a fair trade. Great. Now let me into the house, Peter. It's been a pleasure, stranger. You come back now. Alright, we gained some strength. Um, now hopefully she goes to the house. I don't think she is. I mean, goes into the school. Looks like she's already on her way to the small farm. I don't get it. I don't get it, Dad. Can you fix something while you're standing there? Uh, Dad, fix the shower. Now that Diane's out of the bathroom. Hold on, we got a call. And someone's here? Or is that Mom? Hello, Barbara here. I've stumbled across a small... Yeah, get inside. This is kind of a bummer. I want her to get inside to get the items. Um, but unfortunately, people keep getting in the way. More people! 
All right, then. We're down four rounds of ammunition. And we're going to come out of this empty-handed. Unless we fight. Great. Another survivor. Don't give me a dang peep about starting a brave new world. Oh, she seems belligerent. This might work out well for us. There isn't much worth these day doing these days, but I still need to eat. Want to draw? She wants to trade. A dumb Joe like you really think there's any point now? Screw the world, man. Open your eyes. A paint can. We can paint the inside of the shelter, which I don't really care about. We will need the wood. Okay, this is about all I want to trade, really. The uh, cement for the two planks. Pretty fair trade. You betcha, Lisa. See you later. And charisma increased by one. Lovely. And she's back. Oh, now she's going to examine the items at the farm. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's any consistency to it, but whatever. Uh, we're just going to grab the goods and go. Fuel. Nails are nice. Need a pipe. We don't need the water. These coal? Coal can actually be used for trading. I think I'm going to snag, snag that. Um, and a transistor. I think we have a lot of these, actually. That's good. Okay. Come on back now. Water storage is at maximum. You guys should be taking showers right now. Sarah, go take a shower while it's still raining. Um, by the way, in the last episode, we had a discussion in the comments about the, uh, the tools that I found. Um, and I couldn't get them onto the board. So it looked like I didn't click them to try to put them on the board. And some people said that, you lost them. You got to click on them to put them in the storage. Well, I did try that and it did not work. That's because they, they are actually already here. And it was redundant. So there is only really one plier and one wrench style, although it does look a little different. Anyway, all right, let's dump all this back into the inventory into our storage and we're down to three bullets for the rifle and we're gonna have to go out to some shacks and check around for more let's see how barb is feeling barb i want you to take a shower as soon as sarah gets out of there you could definitely use a shower go go girl get in there before someone else hops in before you oh okay now we're it's not raining anymore but we do have 80 water now full water awesome so here's Barber's entry. We got into trouble today on our expedition. We really wanted to run, but they gave us no choice, okay? This is our justification for killing that woman in cold blood. Gave us no choice. Self-defense. It was terrible. It was either us or them. I was so scared. Yeah, she's, she has, she's in denial. We'll just keep it that way. If that's what she wants the family to believe, then fine. As long as the family comes first. And that's what we like about Barbara. She puts it all on the line for the family. This is all about the Punchwood family. We don't really care too much about these people just yet. And I'm thinking I want to send Diane out. We have one anti-ran pill left. So we could could give her a dosage of that. Um, yeah, see, we can't make this gas mask, which is a real stinker. And we didn't get any plastic on that trip. Dang it. Um, man, we need so much, but we're just shy on the supplies. Yeah, I know we can upgrade, but we don't have the materials. All that has to wait. I'm sorry. Let's check the map and see. I think a trip to the shack, which I can't remember if we actually got into the shack last time or if it was blocked by people. But what we could do is go out, maybe do a run here and here and back. And uncover some of these woods because you do find some shacks there and they have ammunition and we maybe get some plastic uh, yeah let's do that this barbara barbara's actually feeling pretty good i think we may just might send barbara right back out again because she's still got the anti-radiation pills in her system and i'm wondering how long those last it's been a long time she did pop them twice and I didn't notice the second time around that that's what that meant. So it was probably redundant and a waste, the second bottle. But yeah, it is what it is. We learn as we play. So we're going to go down here just about the edge of the mountain range. Cut back down maybe like uh, 
we can send her off here into the open area a bit and then stop off here it's only 16 water I'm gonna send her alone and we're gonna give her I guess we're gonna give her the rifle again whoops keep doing that equip that give her all the ammunition and what can we give her for trade purposes um I know this is going to come into handy when we need fuel, but we don't have any problem with fuel right now, guys. So I'm thinking just take the whole stack and we might be able to trade. And don't forget that satchel. All right, Barb, good luck. You're going through the woods now, so be careful. Don't talk to strangers. She knows what to do. Where's Barb? There she goes. We really need to send Diane out to do something for the family to prove her worth. Get her in the circle of trust, but I can't do that just yet unless we send her off with the Raz. I want to save that one anti-rad just in case one of the family members gets sick. That's why I'm holding on to that last one. Alright, how's that integrity report? Diane, since you're right next to it, can you please check that clipboard? Shower generator. Alright, why don't you go fix the Jenny? And then you're going to fix the shower. The shower is garbage. I'm not sure where it was made or by whom, but it's not very good. <laughs> that water goes fast, doesn't it? Chris is right by the, the workbench. What can we do? What can we make? I'd really like to make like the bookshelf and the toy chest. Where's that toy chest? But we just don't have the nails of the hinges. Oh, by the way, the developer said that you can get leather from animals with better traps. With the higher level traps. So I'm thinking maybe... Wow, look at all this cool stuff up here. I can't wait to get there, but man, it's going to take a long, long time. So this must be the best trap we can make. It's advanced snare trap, and we can get leather with that. All right, where is... Oh, oh, she's calling in. I was going to say, where's Barbara? investigate barbara here looks like there's a shack over there but it's a bit out of my way want me to take some time to investigate yes please investigate oh that's very nice let's check the map let's see where she is she says she sees a shack somewhere oh she's right here oh she's right on top of it nice yeah go check that out um chris why don't you go out and just make yourself useful Oh, I'd really like to make that advanced snare trap, but we have to upgrade. We have to upgrade our workbench, which means we need a lot of hinges and a lot of rope. It's gonna be some time. Hey, mom, get the phone, please. It's Barbara. I've stumbled across somebody in the shack. Oh no, you have to approach. Hopefully, if she can deal with these people, she can get into the shack. Oh, look at that shack. I bet there's some goodies in there. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. And they all have guns. <laughs> she has three bullets. One with everybody's name on it. No, no, this is crazy. No way. All right, Jessica's doing the talking. She's over here. Looks like she's got a shoddy. Hey, you, wait a second. Let's try to trade with these people. Fortunately, they're nice and they're not murderers like Barbara. Um, oh, we need that plastic really badly, guys. How about if I give you some coal for that plastic? That's a good trade. Yes. Take it. Thank you very much. Even if the world has gone down the drain, there's still people managing to screw others over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's helpful. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the shack. Hold on. Or maybe we can. Mom? Oh, yeah, she's going to go... Ch I guess they're not guarding it or something. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, guns galore. This is what I love about shacks, guys. Woo! Oh, boy. All right. Um, well, the nails... Uh, the nail. The ammo stacks. Another rifle. Look at all of this attire for the car. We can start working on our RV. All right. We need all this to make gas masks. We can always come back. Let's, let's concentrate. Focus on the gas mask first, okay? We can come right back here and get this stuff. All right, guys. Barbara's got everything I want her to take. We can come back for the rest of this stuff. But I really like having those material, the building materials. I think that is a priority. Get that back, make a gas mask, and then we can send uh, send somebody back for the rest of that 
gear. Um, what's up? Oh, we got the bed here. Oh my gosh, we really need another bed too badly. Diane, can you make another bed? I don't think we have everything we need. All right, that's going to be kind of a priority too. So many priorities. Uh, let's wait for Barbara to get back and see if we can squeeze that in. I'm not sure if we can spare the supplies. Medium dust storm on surface. Yikes. Chris, take off the hazmat suit. Let's get um let's get Sarah up. She's been sleeping long enough. And we'll let Diane, Wonder Woman, hop into bed. Even though she's a Wonder Woman, she still needs some sleep occasionally. And we're just waiting for Barb to check back in. So she's slowly cutting through the forest here. We've got a lot more terrain to cover. It's going to be a while. So we just have to sit here and wait for her to get back. I, I could speed it up, but uh, I'm not really crazy about that idea. Uh-oh, get involved. Barbara to Dad, I've crossed paths with someone out here. They want to talk. Well, you're going to have to get involved. It's all right, we've got plenty of ammunition. Oh, man, there's three of them. Are they armed with guns? Who's that? Who's there? Says Carolyn. Okay, she seems a little shaky. So she's probably very scared. Only fighters and dead left now, so you knew where this was going. Oh, no. Three on one. We can try to run, but I have no idea how fast they are. I think your dexterity governs that. If she gets hit, Shot. She could die. Oh, no. But if she runs, they might shoot her in the back. We're going to have to fight. We'll block. Nice. Do I get to go? Why, why do they get to go first? Oh, no ammo. Good. So this chick has no ammo. Oh. Ooh, counter. Nice. Shoot him dead. Shoot him dead, girl. Uh... I think the guy with the sledgehammer first, George. Attack. Um, what's the difference? Shoot to kill, shoot to subdue. Shoot him! Oh my gosh! Oh, they're down. Ooh! Oh! She keeps shooting! How many times does she get to shoot? Oh, <laughs> she took out the whole crew! Three shots! <laughs> they took cover after the first shot. They knew that was it. You got one bullet left. You done good, girl. Look at the goodies. Barbara! Big sis, you done awesome. All right, bring home the bacon. Cordite. Oh, what were these guys planning with all that cordite, I wonder? Whew. Okay, we're going to have to drop some things here. Um, that's mostly for trading purposes, right? We need the wood. Oh, that was fantastic. I cannot believe that's how that turned out. I thought she was a goner for sure. Do not doubt Barbara. Just gotta carry a big gun or a big stick or something like that. Dexterity has gone up almost. Look at them, all three of them. Now, that's interesting that she got to shoot three times. Oh, who's this? Scott! All right, he doesn't, he's not interested in our fallout shelter, which is good. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh, we want to call. I'm calling. I'm calling Barb back. Barb, I want you home. Let's get her back. She's well. She's on her way back anyway. Yeah, just come on home. I hope she's not like totally traumatized after that. It's, she's killed four people today. Those three asked for it. That was that was self defense. Unlike the first time, the first one today. But that's okay. We won't talk about that. Uh, hey, Sarah, since you're right there, I'm going to fix up that bed. Try not to wake up Wonder Woman, please. Okay, Wonder Woman is now up. Chris is going to hop into bed. Let's check on Barb. How close is she? Oh, she's almost home. She's almost back, guys. She's almost back. Everyone's wondering how well she did. They didn't hear about that fight. She won't. They won't know until she gets back and puts an entry in the journal, most likely. Mom, I think the dog is hungry. And how are we doing for food here? We have plenty. 14 should be good. Oh no! 
She's got radiation poisoning. Someone is suffering from radiation poisoning. Use anti-radiation tablets. Oh, that means the dosage must have worn off. And now she's suffering the effects. Oh, she doesn't look good. We have to save Barbara. She's been so good to us. Let's just throw everything into storage. Confirm. Oh, Barb. Oh, looking bad, girl. Stop. Stop. Hold on. We're going to pause it right here. And we need to deal with this, guys. We have to save Barbara. But we only have one... One anti-rad tablet left. Do we give it to her? Heal her up? Or do we hang on to it for a family member? In case someone in the Punchwood family gets ill in the future. What do you think? Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you want me to do. <laughs> I'll take a vote. I know what I would do, but I'm curious to know what you guys would do. Alright, with that, we're going to call it quits. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time here at the Punchwood Fallout Shelter in shelter. Goodbye, all. Have a good night.